Today, I'm going to show you how to make that cool slowdown effect you just heard. It's actually called a tape stop effect. I'm going to be using a free plugin for this so you can all download it and try it out for yourself. I'll add the link in the description. Keep watching though, and I'll show you how to use it right after this. This is a Firewalk production. Tape stop effects, or slowdown effects as many like to call them, tend to sound really cool when used correctly. Many wonder how it's actually done when they hear this effect in action. The effect can be used in a variety of ways, and it has the potential to really spice up your mix. You can load this effect onto a single track, like on your bass, for example, to give it that cool sub-bass slowdown effect. Or you can put it on a submix. It has many uses, and I'll probably talk more about that in another tutorial. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to put it directly on the master so that it will affect the whole track and make it easier to hear. So let's jump straight into it. Here I have a trance project already loaded. Open up the mixer, select the master track, and load the D-Blue plugin. This plugin is very easy to use. As you can see, it only has three knobs, trigger, slow down, and D-click. The trigger is what switches it on or off, the slowdown is the speed at which it slows down, and the last one, D-click, does exactly what it says. It's used to smooth out the sound in cases where you end up with clicks. Just leave it at its default position unless you're having clicks. Let's try it out. Right-click on the trigger knob and select Create Automation Clip. The clip will then be inserted into the playlist. Remember, this will act as our on-off trigger. So let's keep the effect off, which is 0%, until we actually want the tape effect to take place. This is where I want to start slowing it down. Right-click here to make new points. Now drag it up to 100% to make the effect turn on. And then back down again to turn it off here, like so. Let's have a listen. As you can hear, it's now slowing down. Let's play around with the speed knob to see how the different settings affect the sound. As you can hear, when I turn it down, it slows down at a much slower rate. And when I turn it up, it speeds up. Just play around with this until you get the sound that you're after. It's that easy. I'm sure you've heard this effect before and thought, Wow, I wonder how they did that. Well, now you can make it yourself. Is there any specific tutorial you'd like me to make? Or perhaps you have a question? Feel free to post them in the comments below. I have more tutorials coming up soon. I'm also working on several templates that will show you how to make various styles of music, like trance, orchestral, tropical house, etc. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss out. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you liked the video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials.